Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. He is so thrilled. Look at that face. He is like, please, dear God, leave me alone. And yes, I do still have my janky Slytherin cosplay. Thank you for noticing. Seriously, you want to see my artwork? This is actually what it looks like. <laughs> Yes, because why not? Mm, so good. Let's just jump right in. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Um, last time we got to the map chamber and we need to go back and get a book in order to follow through with whatever's going to happen right after this. I can't remember because it's been way too long. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Off on another adventure, are we? Off on another adventure, are we? Oh. Yes, we are on an adventure. And I do remember there being... Rebellion. One of these guys, that's right. So we need the disillusionment spell. Switch that. Oh wait. He needs to not see me. Now we can sprint. I just unlocked this and I'm so glad I unlocked this early on. This is the best part about second playthroughs too. You go through and you realize like what you wish you would have done if you would have known everything you know now when you first played. I hope that makes sense. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm, suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. <gasps> like treasure. Your gear slots are full. I ah. I can't remember how to increase our inventory slots. That's something I'm gonna need to prioritize. Ooh, there's a door that's locked. Pavelio. I do remember that. Also, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Oh. Okay, yep, I definitely want to pull, so I want to try to collect all of the, the spells as quickly as humanly possible. First things first, though. Wait. <gasps> How did I not see that the first time? I could have swore. Well, we fixed it. Broken broom. Wait, what? This broken broom belonged to Celine Wardnab Wardnabby? is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to fellow third years. No one knows if she succeeded. <laughs> I don't remember that. But that's kind of cool though. Speaking of brooms. Priority numero uno. We need to take this class so we can now fly everywhere because I am too lazy for cardio. <laughs> I slept outside all night. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Not weird at all. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. <laughs> you can't Stop hit people with it. And loop the loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. <laughs> I like her. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Yeah, she's gonna get smacked right in the kisser. Up. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> Good 
go get on your broom. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. I think I'm getting the, the hang of this. The brooms are school property. I had my own. I want them returned in one piece. Finally, my favorite part. See, this is. I'm now complete. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Hey, heck yeah! Let's go. Loop de loops. I'm gonna break the rules. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! What a view! Ooh. Hello! Nice day for a flight! Kiss my ass! This is rather fun! <laughs> I don't know why that came out, guys. Oh, the old boathouse. <laughs> Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Oh, blah. Blah. <laughs> Technically, I'm a first year in my fifth year, but it's my first year here, so like technically, I am a first year. It doesn't need to make sense. Mm. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. I know, I, I've met him before. We high fived in the common room, or rather, he slapped the window because I was shooting spells at it. Such a great background music. Did anyone else see this? This is so music that you could actually like believe that you would hear running around the Universal Studios Wizarding World. That sounds authentic. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? <laughs> yes. When we get in trouble, I like the sound of that. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Let's go. Now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Ooh. We're going to get in trouble. Nice trouble is my middle name. Lid. Wow. What it would have been like to be in the room with the orchestra playing this music. Just peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. <sighs> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh. <laughs> now I that's forgot. Hard. You sure you're not part hippogriff? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. <laughs> now this feels magical. And we're gonna be in trouble. I want a really cool landing. Oh, better hurry and hand in our brooms. Pew! Dismount here. Nice. And where have you two been? <laughs> Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. 
You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Detention. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. You Ravenclaws, chin up. That was some rather good fly. She's calling all y'all out. I don't trust y'all either. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, <laughs> but you have to admit those views were worth it. <laughs> the view, the views, do it for the views, do it for the gram. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. Mm, I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Cool, and I think I have a bit of a savings account now, so I should be able to afford a new broom. What do we do next? Complete main quests, cool. I think that, oh, right, we should probably go learn Depulso. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Ooh. I know a discreet place near there. I think he's going to teach me Confringo. Yes, read, or read mail. Indeed, you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. J. Pippin's Potions. Please Ooh. meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Cool. All right, we got a lineup of things to do today. First thing on the agenda is oh, to hello. change our hair. Would one like to be styled today? <laughs> I want to, yeah, change my do, change my face, maybe, and then. Hello. Go oh, sell come stuff. in. Come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly! Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry, and I'm here thriving. She's an entrepreneur. Thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? I'm 15, you I know I'm evil, but that was rude. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. I'm Some cute. are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. <laughs> Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. Muggle with consumption, because we like that death look. I think that's got to be my new favorite line in this whole game, and I would have never heard that if I wouldn't have selected that option. That was so funny. Isn't tuberculosis another word for consumption? Yeah, it's also called consumption. Oh my god. She's saying I, I look like I got TB. What the She's talking to a high schooler. Help, I'm being bullied by an adult. I wouldn't be the first video game character to die of consumption. Rest in peace, if you know, you know. May I see your services? What services do you offer? Hopefully she has classes in? in manners. All right, let's start with, ooh, yeah, where do I want to go with this? I think I want to change my hair color. Now that I got these black robes, any hair color will go with this. That is the beauty of black, am I right? Who else has a all black wardrobe and has a white dog that sheds like a mofo? Me, you probably. Right, I'm sticking with this hair color. I've always loved that hair color. Now the hard part is finding the hairstyle and ooh, 
it's any of them are gonna be good because I love all of the hairstyles. No, that's that's giving Professor Weasley a little too much. We cannot be matching. That just wouldn't feel right. I like this one, but this is literally Isadora Morganax hair, and we again we cannot <laughs> we cannot match an iconic character in this game. It just doesn't feel right. That does indeed tickle my pickle a little bit. Oh my gosh. Is this finally the playthrough that I rock this hairstyle? I think since I've been wearing my hair down a ton so far during this specific playthrough, I'm kind of digging this and it'll show off her scar so much more because I actually like it. I really want to be able to see it. I'm actually between this one and this one. And yes, they are virtually the same, except there is a piece of hair sticking out in in the other one. Where did it go? There it is. There it is. That, that's literally the only difference. This one looks a little bit more tussled, where this one looks very prim proper. Kind of evil. Kind of evil. I think I like this one. I'm gonna go with this. Confirm. 20 gold. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. Gosh, I love it. I kind of love it. I think next I'm gonna do another long hairstyle because that's it was between the other long hairstyle, the one that wasn't my other one, the curly one, or like a low bun. And I, I do like this one. And I figured while we're here, we might as well visit J Pippin from J Pippin's Portions. Yes, sir. Hi. I'm here in J Pippin's Portions. We have portions. everything a young student might need when it comes to portions. Mine. You look around. Oh, that's why I came here too. I need to sell some crap. Let's talk to him first. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? <laughs> if you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. It sounds like you really need an employee. Mm. I might be able to accept another side job, you know, we gotta hustle. You gotta, you gotta make money in this world. She sounds annoying. I'd rather not deal with difficult people, but for a reward, I think I can manage. Indeed. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. Uh. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Seriously though, my character cracks me up because her attitude, she is absolutely me after dark. Like, once I am done for the day, like, she is me. Just like, can't be bothered. No, no thank you. Tell it to someone who cares. <laughs> Not me. J. Pippin's Portions, uh, established in 1753, wow, he's old, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Perry Pippin sells a wide vari variety, vari variety of potions and their ingredients. Nice. Oh. Yes, I need to sell some stuff really fast. Also, this is day 365 and some change of me wishing they had a select everything that you want to sell option so that you can just mass sell anyone. Anyone? Avalanche. Avalanche. You hearing me? You, you picking up what I'm putting down? Hint. Hint. Okay, now I actually want what's in here. Ooh, I love that outfit. God, some of the outfits in this game are definitely the best. They're so well designed. I'm gonna change my outfit. And by change my outfit, I mean increase my gear score because my outfit is currently banging. Okay, next we might as well start investing in a better broom because we will need it. Hello. Oh, Rebellion. Nice. Wonderful. Mine. Run by the amiable Alby Weeks, this shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Alby himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. That I will steal, I mean buy, of course. Um, 
purchase with money. Ooh. I need the room. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sweet, I wanna see them. Wait, so have a look, but what else do we have here? Disrupted trade routes made you close? What else can you share about brooms? Eh, I just want a, a, a broom. Quite the array of brooms. I'll Boom, have a look broom. around. Thank you. I want the one with what the fire. What are we looking for today? Haha. <laughs> Wind wisp broom. Ooh, wait. Do they have? I can't remember. Do they have different stats? Ember dash. The perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. Me. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Ooh, moon trimmer. This boom is uh, b boom. Am I, is that is that gonna be a thing now for this place where we're gonna start calling them boom, boomsticks? Wait, doesn't that mean something else? What does that? What does boomstick mean? Doesn't mean dynamite. So apparently it's a shotgun, boomstick. Well, I was today years old. I want all of them, but I also want the fiery, the ember dash broom. I think that's the one I had before. The U Weaver Broom. I think I had all of these though. I mean, wh why stop at one? We can just collect them all. But I want to start with this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I'll be thrilled. I am thrilled. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Absolutely. Oh. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. Hmm. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom uh. courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I guess... Uh, why am I the right person for this? You took Madame Kagawa's class? How old are all of these people? Okay. Anyway, sounds worth a try. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Weeks. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you! It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. I like the special time prices. Should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once oh. you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. He is a character. Okay. What are we gonna do next? God, the music goes so hard. Where's Jay Pippin's portions? I think it's up here. I wanted to go back in here and buy a well, Maxima and an Adurus potion. Any assistance at all? So I can use them can simultaneously. I, I need a specific potion. Oh, they're recipes. Okay. Oh, a my wise God. decision. Thank you. That's a lot of money. Okay, that one's not as expensive. Jeez. That's a thunder. Br oh. Do you have any of the potions? I should just bought the bloody but. Mm. Oh, wise decision. My money. Adurus potion, and then there was the other. What was the other one that I needed? Maxima. I just spent a lot of money, and now I am sad. I just. Why? Did, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. It's fine though. It's fine. We could always use more of those. Rip my wallet. I hope to see you again. Farewell, for now. Uh, 
I hate you for taking my money, sir. Okay, so. Acquire and use a focus potion. We might as well just do that right meow. Where's the focus potion? There it is. Okay. Yup. Bottoms up in the middle of the street. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. And then we have Maxima and Adurus potions and use them simultaneously. So what do they mean by simultaneously? Just one after the other, I hope? So... Maxima and a Duris. Okay, so let's do this one first. Excellent. Boom! Now we can go talk to... I forgot that she totally turns into the thing from Fantastic Four when you do that. Anyway. What was I saying? Hmm. Oh. Right, we have to go talk to Professor Sharp. Sorry, Toby. <gasps> Don't you mess with my sweater? You almost just messed this up. Oh, I made this. We gonna lick it too? You better not. All right. How are your assignments coming along? Very good. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. I'll show Concentrate. you what I can do. Do not let your mind wander. Go, go. <laughs> cool. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest <laughs> having a go at the enchanted books here. Ooh, okay. So we need to switch that with, let's put it up top for now. Well Boom. done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to mind your spell card. Look at me, staunchly determined. Still at it, I see. I well, am still bullying these books. Can be an excellent teacher. <laughs> what if I use it on you? Hands up where I can see them. Drop that quill and get your hands up. Depression. What do you got to say about that, Sharp? He got nothing to say. He don't care. Not even one little bit. Ooh, I want to make something. What do I want to make? Oh, well, I can't really make too much of anything. I don't have the ingredients. Felix, Felicis. I don't have fluxweed. I can make that. Let's make another one of these. 30 seconds. I can wait. I'm patient. No, take your time, please. There we go. Oh my lord. Um, you know what? Let's torture ourselves a little bit more here. Let's make a wig and weld potion, because you always need those. And those only take 15 seconds. Let's go. All right, we got our final potion. Let's get the heck out of here. Next, I want to talk to Sebastian, wherever he is. He's not here yet. Complete the tasks I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo. Already? The charm. I just did my homework. To cut an object, but oh. can be a powerful weapon when needed. Oh heck yes! I freaking love Defindo. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. But I have ways out of these things. <laughs> well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Well, he has a place. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. You lead the way. You know where this place is. Well, so There's do I. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Yeah. It's in the perfect spot. I mean, no one would think to come back here. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He We've met. The Undercroft. Rebellion. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With oh, my sister. Gobstones, you too? Uh, she loved that infernal game. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to lose to her again. 
Aww. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I mm. wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. <laughs> I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. That's so cool. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say uh -huh. it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. I beg to differ. Also, this this makes me wonder, like, when we meet Ominous again, because this is where my first character, after doing this, we met Ominous and he did not like us. He was not very kind to us when we first met him as a Hufflepuff, but since we've already met him in the common room at the very beginning, and he seemed very pleasant. Maybe he'll have a different reception this time around. So I'm really interested to see if that's different at all. That's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. True. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Confringo. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Go. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Okay, targets. Have those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. That's why I love it so much more. As far as fire, as far as this fire spell goes, like I really don't use Incendio all that much. I mean. I don't, I don't really know why you would when you have Confringo that does the same thing, but can travel farther. Maybe the damage is a little bit different, but then you can just increase the damage done by modding all of your stuff and like putting, putting different abilities and whatnot into various articles of clothing. All right, let's switch this out. I think it's this one. Yeah. Cool. Confringo. There we go. So satisfying. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. It's a tad hot. I think I've got it. Well done. I think she's got it. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Okay. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more and where more. that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell mm. Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Be, I'm gonna say I'll be glad to, even though that's like the nice option. I like Anne. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. 
She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, guardian. you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. I'll tell you the truth. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. He did. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? Yes. I, I don't know. Oh. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Hmm. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. No problem. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Cool. I don't think I picked up on the relationship between him and his uncle during that first, uh, or during that conversation the first time I ever heard it. But like the second time around, it definitely hit me a little bit harder when he was like my guardian, Uncle Solomon. Like he said guardian, he didn't say uncle. He didn't even call him like his dad or like an, a father figure or something. Like there, there is only animosity behind those words. Not a single bit of affection. I thought that was really, really interesting. Hello, Sebastian. That's not... You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Okay, so he's not very happy. I stumbled upon it. Um, do I want to lie? Do I, do I want to lie? I don't know if I want to lie to him. Hmm. I like Ominous. But would evil me like ominous? I'm gonna say I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. Ooh. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Oh shoot, so he still is angry with you, even though we're now in the same common room. Hey, hey, no need for threats. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I bet, and I don't want to be there for it. I need to use a Thunder Brew Potion on enemies so I can get Defendo. So let's have some fun. Think I did that? Yes, good. Oh, oh wrong person. Oh my gosh, I don't know who I'm shooting at. What the heck? Ooh. Yeah, I definitely need to use these more. These are really fun. Oh, we can't block that. Oh, that's right. Ah, bring them. 
Oh my gosh! I need more wheels. More weapon wheels. We need to heal. That was really close. What have you done? I killed your friends. That's what I did. And I got one step closer to Defendo. All right, let's see if Sharp is here. I so badly want to learn this spell again. Have you finished your assignments? Yep. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Oh, good one. Could have gone worse. Well, I don't know about meticulous, but I did as I was asked. I'd advised doing more than the bare minimum if you want to hone your skills as quickly as possible. Dang. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. <sighs> now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Wand Focus. at the ready. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Now I definitely need more hmm. wheels for my Very spells. Good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do now, I only have one wheel, so I, I should start really building them up how I want. So I definitely wanna use Defendo. Defendo is my absolute favorite. Defendo is generally really good with Levioso, especially against those Doug Bogs. But then I always want to have at least like one of each type of spell on my on my wheel. So like a red, a yellow, a purple, and then eventually maybe like a green. Or we can mix and match more. I don't really know. But so I know Levioso goes really well with Defendo. And I mean Accio is always a good one to do. It's always good to bring them closer so you can actually hit them, but it's also really fun to like depulso them and knock them away. Um, hmm, this is a hard one. But then I can have two damage spells. You know, maybe I can do two different combos that work well. So we have Levioso and Defendo, and then Accio and Incendio. And then I should prioritize upgrading Incendio because that upgrade is just so good next i definitely need to upgrade an um so i can unlock another weapon wheel Rebellion. Ooh. all right Leviosa. we are definitely doing the room of requirement next a field guide done Rebellion. i know there's gonna be some collectible stuff as we go up here, I believe. I, I think. Why would there not be? This is such a cool section of the castle. I hear the dings! Oh, right! It's so cool to see him! Does he speak? Do they actually end up using John Cleese's voice for this? Speak! I want to hear. I want to hear it. How cool would that be if they got John Cleese to come back for this game and like voice a couple lines for Nearly Headless Nick, whom this is obviously... Speak! Speaketh! I want to hear you say something. I don't... I don't think he'll say anything, which is so sad. He's the best ghost. But this one had a field guide in front of it. Yep. The troll tapestry. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas and oh, Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. <laughs> okay. And then I think that's it. Oh, we still gotta go up, but let's do this. Professor Weasley? <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Ooh. 
legendary. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Here's what where it gets this good. Place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. <laughs> mm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. She's so right about this part of the game. Like, you never see the room of requirement like this ever again once it becomes yours, so it's like, take it all in while you can. So cool. Splendid. Let's do make it the top one. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Crafting. My favorite. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Deke, you're in trouble. Ooh. Rebellion. <gasps> Is that... Goodness. What? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until She's we so Deke. cute. Yes, Professor. I love her character so... I know I'm supposed to be evil right now, but I still love her so much and i love i love the person she's voiced by too like for me that made this game so much more magical because she will still in my heart forever be mrs patmore from one of my favorite shows ever of all time i've only watched it three or four times all the way through yes i have and that show is such a happy place for me oh. and the fireplace just lit up that's so cool a i waited for you here for ages Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Wait, did we ever find out who that was? A and T. I can't think of anything. I don't know, nothing's coming to me right now. I can't remember. Should I just keep going and exploring? I do want to see if I missed anything from the first time. Like, I remember there were some chests and crates that I could open that I couldn't get to for whatever reason. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. I don't remember that. That little jump scare. Got another one? Thank you for all this free moonstone, though, right now. Bevelia. This room, though looks like my real life room. This is why I feel so at home here. I think this is why this is my favorite section of the castle. Because it, I see myself in it. Very creepy. Yep. Ah. Just sit from a random nasty dusty cup in this grimy room. I think I wanna... 
pull this out. Oh. Ha. Ha. Is this how I could have got up here the whole time? I definitely don't think I came back here. Oh. Okay. So that's how we got up there. Sweet. Where do we go next? Oh. Can I interact with this? Those eyeball things are so creepy. It's so quiet in here now. Why? Who turned the music off? Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. There we go. That what makes me feel better. Stop them! What you gonna do about it? No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> tis, tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> yes, I did just watch Monty Python and the Holy Grail for the first time. So now I'm gonna think of that movie every single time I see a, a suit of armor anywhere. I don't think I interacted with all of these things in this room the first go around. So I don't remember that bush. Ah, a working toilet out in the open. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> yes. I didn't really appreciate it this much, like this section, the first time I played it because I didn't know it was going to be so temporary. So yeah, there's, there's quite a bit here that I didn't interact with the first time. Ooh, watch where that's going. It's really like a little museum part of the game. It's got a little bit of nostalgia. It's got everything. It's got exploration, interacting with stuff. Ravenia. What else do we have here? <clears throat> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? <laughs> or just be really short. Ooh. What was that? It's a uh, one of those keys, right? Is that a golden snitch. A d oh. Oh, I thought it was a Dedalian key. you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get through that? Can I go catch the snitch? Because I definitely didn't do that the first time around. Okay, I want to try to get it, if I can. I'm assuming you can get it. So... This makes me wonder. Will I have to use this at all? Or, um, let, let's pull it out a little bit more. Not too much, though. Yeah, like, this part- this part stumped me. I do distinctly remember coming here for this. But this is as far as I got. I did not know what to do here. You know, like, how do I get to this other side? Here. I can't pull it. Like, nothing happens when you pull it. But what if- what happens if I pull this in here? Can I, like, jump over this? Tell me how to do this. Give me a hint. Ooh. I want the golden snitch. I want it. Yeah. But I also want that. I also really, really, really want this. Can I not get it through? <laughs> I don't know what to do for that. I kind of want to put this back where I found it. Okay. I have not the slightest clue what to do here. But there's gotta be a way to get the golden snitch. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
Oh, it had the little symbol above it, so I thought maybe I could loot the chest. Still nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What if I can do it here? No. Maybe I can levioso this and this. This is not going to do anything, right? Oh. No way. No way. I, I don't think that there's a way that I can... Can I Accio the bloody snitch? How are you supposed to get this chest? I genuinely don't understand. Ah, this is driving me... Oh, I saw it. I saw it. It was right there. I got it! For a- for a pair of green gloves, I did all of that. Yep. Oh, I thought we were gonna be able to get the golden snitch or something. That'd be so cool. Okay. So now the music has stopped playing. I think that's our cue to keep going. Rebellion. Anything else fun around here? Hear the snitch. I hope that house elf can find us in here. <laughs> Ooh, there it is. There's Deke up there. Yikes, careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deed will come to you. <laughs> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke mm -hmm. has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. <laughs> That'd you be cool. seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. I would like well, a room then, full of money, the please. I can provide you with precisely that. Just now, a room full of money. It's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Room full of money. The Come room on. We'll do the rest. Lots of green. Paper flying everywhere. Money. Retirement funds. Mmm. Please? Nope, still a room full of junk. Come on. Gold. Money. That would be my real life room of requirement. <laughs> You've Beautiful. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. <laughs> My character space. Seeing what you do with the space. Ah, oh, me too. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you have collected. I think I do have a couple unidentified pieces here. Yes, woo! I know I had another thing, right? Right? 
OK. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Cool. Thanks. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Where's my pile of cash in this room, though? I specifically requested a hundred million dollars. <laughs> what? I feel like I have been gypped. <sighs> Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase no. them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. <laughs> in fact, you should have enough resources for now. I cool. see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Wait, run that by Go me again? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay. I want to make some she disappear really quick. So, a uh, conjuring spell and then Evanesco. So let's let's just switch these up for right meow. Vanish. Ugly. Ugly number two, vanish. Cool. Wait, can I talk to Deke? Yet, I wanna... I wanna decorate this place. I want to make... I wanna make it look cool. Deke, Deke, talk to me, dude. Talk to me. But, um... I think before we can do that, we probably need to... Conjure some stuff. So let's do that. So we have the potting table, which would be under this, right? Scientific potting table with small pot. No, we're not doing botanical. Eclectic. Gothic. Wait, so what would be what would be the Slytherin vibe then? Scientific. Mm, botanical is clearly like the Hufflepuff, but scientific maybe Ravenclaw. Eclectic. I don't know, but I feel like gothic would be more my speed. Actually, yeah, because that's the vibe of the Slytherin common room. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Where are we gonna put it, though? How do I do this again? Rotate? Oh, good lord. Um, oh, I don't know where to put it yet. Let's just do here. Um... Can't I change the color? Uh, yeah, we're gonna change the color. What color do we want it to be? Hmm. What says dark and depressing? Definitely not pink. Mm -mm. Nope. White, ew, no. Um, ooh, maybe black? Or blue to match my hair. Green would also be cool. I don't know, it's really gonna depend on the color I make my entire room first. So I'm sure we can switch that up however the heck we want. I think I'm gonna go with blue or black. You know what? I'm gonna do black for right now. I can't decide. I'm so indecisive. There. Um, and then we need a potion sta uh, station for J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Let's go back. Potions? Ooh, small, scientific, botanical, eclectic, gothic. Ooh, that looks cool too. I don't know, let's just put it on the on the sides right now. And change colors. Black? Very depressing, yeah. Well done. 
You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Oh, I can't make these yet. Make it that. Let's make another wig and weld. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Oh, I won't, but I want to decorate my room. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for mm. use in the room. Yeah. Do we get, like, three? Teach it to me now. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. I have some. You Easy. can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts Carefully. Well. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay, I should have enough. I should have more than enough. Well, we're done. <laughs> I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I wasn't listening to a word you said. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry. Unproductive. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Yikes. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I think that there is a spell, and I believe it's Accio. Once you learn Wingardium Leviosa, you if you just do Accio and you hold it, it'll just go right into that. So you actually never need to use that spell by itself because it kind of gets tag teamed with Accio if I remember correctly um wait a second so she said something <gasps> conjure wall decorations floor decorations what do you mean by floor decorations does the desks and stuff like that not count also where the heck is Deke Deke my dude where are you oh there you are I haven't seen this many plants here before um I'm not a Hufflepuff. There should be no plants in here yet. Or at all. Um, okay, well, let's do some wall decorations. Where are those gonna be? Wall hangings. Oh! <gasps> oh, yeah! Oh my gosh, yes! Yes, absolutely. We need this. Can it- can it be bigger? Absolutely. Holy smokes. Yes. We're, yeah. Yeah. Does it, can we change colors? Probably not, right? Oh my god, it's huge. Um, what else are we gonna put on? I wanna put everything on there now. We got, um, so those are the wall hangings. Rugs, we don't need that. Decorations. Those are not wall decorations, though. Those are probably floor decorations. What about artwork? What gives evil? Evil? Niffler, not super e evil. Gazing wizard portrait, dapper wizard portrait. Bickering couple portrait, yes. <gasps> oh, that's funny. Um, let's put it right next to the dead stuff. <laughs> oh, I love it already. Okay, I'm gonna have too much fun with this, just so you know. Stone monument? Magical monuments. Oh my gosh, yes. That's gonna go there. And then, I think we could use a nurse and baby. Nah. House elves and mistress. Gazing witch. Um, I think we could use an unreachable mirror up here. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, looks completely out of place. Looks like no one thought this through whatsoever. I think it's perfect. I think we need one more on here. Let's go back to, ooh, let's go back to portraits. 
Um, let's put something up there. I don't know, something evil. We already have the bickering. Uh, the bickering couple. Dapper wizard. Let's do gazing wizard. Yeah, let's big up, put a big ol' one right here. Yeah, I, you know, it works. It works. It works. I think we can all agree. It, it's there. <laughs> yeah, um, so now we need floor decorations. I'm assuming that means, I don't know, statue, tables, seating. Let's do. Deke Ooh. thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Thanks, Deke. <gasps> why would anyone? Why would anyone need it to be that big or small? Let's put that there. Oh, new. No. Uh, I forgot to change the color, and now I'm sad. Seating, gothic. Um, let's rotate that. Okay, sure. That looks good. Um, change color to black for now. It's gonna be between, like, black and red. You know, because I love red, too. Um, oh, so these do count. Let's put another one here. Are they even? They better be even. If they're not even, I will not be able to live. Ugh. It's gonna frustrate me. Let's go with maybe a statue. Oh, right. I don't know. Let's put like um a lamp here at the entrance. Put a matching one on the other side. Ugh. Ever so slightly, it just gotta be so. There we go. That's that's good enough. Shall we move on? Thanks, thanks. I I hate the table right now. Mm -mm. Can't do that. Mm -mm. That needs to go bye bye. <sighs> what are you doing? We need a new table. It needs to match everything. Oh, I didn't match the lamps. The standing lamps. I absolutely will be redoing those. Ooh, that's so much better. I don't know if I'm loving the black, though. It kind of looks dingy. I think we need a little bit more color in this room. Let's spice it up a little bit. That just- that just won't do. Mm -mm. Isn't there a way you can... No, I thought maybe we could pick it back up again, but I think that's the other spell that we have to learn. So we need to make these two disappear. Lamp. Where's the lamp? Where? Oh! Statues? Decorations. Wait, was it under statues? No, it wasn't. There it is. Okay. Oh! Here I am wanting to change everything to red right now. I should probably- I should wait. We can change it literally any other time. We can do this whenever the heck we want. It needs to be perfect. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Okay, walk away, Miranda. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. I knew she was going to come in clutch. Wasn't going to leave me hanging like this. Altering. Ooh. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Yes. 
I think I'm gonna have to change my hair color to, uh, you know, to match my entire room as well. So that's gonna be a thing going forward. Um, let's put that there. All red. All red, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Yes. Uh, wait, what was it again? I think it was this one. <laughs> Make it all red. All red. Why didn't I just do this from the start? Gothic and red definitely go together. Oh, no! Scientific table? Mm -mm. Nope. Not my vibe. Not this time. Mm -mm. No, gothic is totally my vibe. Oh, yeah. It's gonna look so cool. I don't know if I've ever said this in a playthrough before, but I have to commend the room of requirement design. It's probably some of the best like room building, design, decor stuff I've ever seen in a game. And this comes from somebody who, like when I play Minecraft, I, I couldn't give a shizzle about creating like these beautiful castles. Like I literally will build a box because I just, I don't find as much stimulation in building, crafting, you know, spending thousands of hours like building up these magnificent structures. But there's something about this. They have done such a good job of like giving you a preset space, adding on to it though, but allowing you the freedom to take what you have and then make it your own given other things like furniture. And for me, that's like the perfect middle ground for creativity. I don't want to have nothing and then build up all this like you know like minecraft you start with nothing and then you build up all of this stuff and it's so overwhelming because there's so much at your disposal now where this it's like there's a lot at your disposal to use but there's still a finite amount like there's not an infinite amount of stuff that you could do with this so i find it a lot less confusing and overwhelming and it almost helps my personal level of creativity because I do like to be creative, but I don't want to do it all, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, where this game just nailed it with that. I, I never once felt overwhelmed, and it was so much fun to go back and like redecorate every single time I got bored, which is the other thing, because I get super bored super fast, so when I get bored of like structures in Minecraft or like The Sims, I could never be one of those simmers that like built these beautiful houses because I just I don't have my, the mind's eye to do that but I can look at a space that already exists and be like oh I want I want it, this to go here this would look really good over here I have that kind of spatial awareness but I don't have the spatial awareness that is needed to create something from absolutely nothing maybe there's someone out there that can resonate with that but that's exactly how I am and that's why this is perfect I rest my case. Let's change this color to red. See, lo I love that vibrant red color. Why didn't I just do that from the start? Oh no, I did it again. R.I.P. That's good. Cool. We got that. I'm gonna... Can I switch that? No, you cannot change the color for that, but you can for this. Um, hello? That should be fine. I don't know why it's- Oh, maybe it's because I'm standing here? It didn't change the color! Change the color! <gasps> oh no! Is it because that- Oh, it's because that giant thing is in the way. Actually, maybe this was the move. I was thinking that it looked a little claustrophobic. I actually like this better. I can't believe I'm saying that because that was completely unintentional. Let's grow something here, didn't he? Just to make it look all nice and pretty. Okay, let's switch this too. Oh! oh, I didn't mean to do that with the walls, but okay. Well, we're gonna be switching all that anyway. There we go. All is right with the world now. We just have this one red wall and that is so gonna bother me, but we don't need to look at it right now. Nope. Uh, can I speak to you, Deke? Alter the style of an item, adjust the size of an item? Oh, we still need to do all that? Oh, 
Man, okay, well, we're just gonna have to fidget around with something. Let's do these, because I don't really care about these. Oh my god. That's overkill if I've ever seen it. <laughs> but, like, I kind of like it. Um, sure. And uh, let's change the style of this one, because I don't care. Oh, the eclectic's kind of cool looking though. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Um, yeah, we are keeping that. But I do want this shifted over a little bit. Don't worry, this is not going to be every video, guys. I promise. Um, this is going to be something that I do in my off time. Obsessively. Okay, Deke, get your butt over here. Af alter the balcony or the floor or the room. Oh. <gasps> oh. Holy shoot. Oh, that's right, because Deke only alters like the sunlight of the room so you can have it be like sunny and bright and warm or you can have it like really dark like middle of the night moonlit night i think is one of them your space right. might benefit from a bit of ambiance don't you think <gasps> Deke. of course professor weasley professor weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago Deke thinks you'll enjoy it oh my god i will come and talk to Deke when you're ready Hold on, Deke. I, you, how much time you got? <laughs> I'm gonna need a minute or an hour. Okay. Yes. Holy shoot. Wait, so can you alter this up here too? I forgot. Hell yeah, you freaking can. Yup, this is, this is coming together. This is coming together just nice. So nice. Oh, that is so jarring, though. <laughs> when it changes. Looks like the room's gonna explode on ya. Oh, does that mean I gotta go through every single bit and change? I think that's exactly what that means. I'll see you guys in a second. One eternity later. And voila! I think I have got everything, even down to the little alcove. Like, every single panel. You can customize to be something different, and that is just so cool. I think that is the best part about this room, just the level of customization, but yet the finite amount of customization mwah, makes my brain so happy. But mm, if I can be a little nitpicky here though, like just a little bit. Okay, so you have the tiles on the floor. But the fact that the tiles are like green and there's like this this uh, green that that you just can't get out of the floor, right? So if I were to take this and change it to green, what would that be like? Ooh, ew. Oh no, 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 and then the green that it changes to doesn't even match like the green, the rest of it, right? Ooh, ooh. okay, so maybe that would work best, but like what other colors would work? Purple does not work with that, like, mm, the, the green is not neutral enough to like go with anything else, even though I love the gothic. Not even the blue! And the, the, the black kind of works, but it's not even black. Okay, okay. The white is kind of doing something for me, though. I do like the white, even though it's not really white. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Oh, wait, that's white. Okay, now I'm confused. No, no, we're just gonna stick. Actually, you know what? What I said, bashing the red, um, I take that all back now. It works. <laughs> It works. It's it's magic, right? Okay, so we can talk to Deke now. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? 
depressing. I want it to look like a murderer lives here. Cool, moonlit, ambiance sounds perfect. Natural, earthy, no. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious, yes. Mm, I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. And evil. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Yes. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh, wow, okay. He's like not weird at all. You definitely do not sound like you need to see a therapist, child. <laughs> Ooh. Hold up. I love it. Yeah. Quite a difference. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Right. Same. Now I just gotta find a place to put the bodies. <laughs> wait, 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 we already get the other part. I didn't think we would get this so soon. Oh, my brain. Well, now I know where I'm going to put all of my dead bodies. An even bigger space. Great. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Oh, why did she have to give me all of that extra space now? The temptation to change all of this right this instant is so strong within me. But I feel like I should delay this gratification. Oh, hold on though, hold on. I have to see what the windows, I love windows. And especially when they're like ceiling to floor windows, I have to see what the gothic ones look like. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks so sweet. I think I'm in love. Alrighty guys, that is where I'm going to end this episode for now. Thank you so much for watching. And this is where I feel like the game gets really, really good and opens you up to everything that's possible. I think it starts not only with the room of requirement, but when you officially get all of your talent points. I think I can now retire this janky little Slytherin seal. <laughs> It's mine though, and I love it. I'm gonna show it off one more time. Take it in, guys. This is this is it. This is my artwork right here. This is I'm so proud of this. I'm actually going to keep it forever too. So if you ever see someone walking around a Comic Con with this, it's me. Anyway, I had a blast and a half with this. I just I love this game so much. And the room of requirement, if you can't tell, is one of my favorite aspects to this game. And you know what's super weird too is the fact that. Even though I have already played this game before all the way through, even though I'm playing as a new character in a new house and I'm choosing all of the opposite dialogue options that I did the first time around, this does feel like, in a weird way, a brand new game, especially with the Jackdaw quest line, which I think I did last video. But when I started doing that, it hit me that it was different. I could tell that it was different. I did not recognize anything about it. And there's still so much about this game that I have forgotten since my first playthrough. So maybe just having a goldfish memory like mine is the greatest superpower you can have. At least it's really good when it comes to playing video games, reading books, and watching movies because you can return to it after all this time and it's brand new. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button as well to get notified. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.